Hola. Oh, good. My setup still works somewhat. I can sort of see this thing. Yeah, so my setup's a little different. Actually, seems to be clipping at the top. Nope. No, I'm dumb. That's just the uh, that's just the line from the game. <laughs> it's just the underline. Um. Yeah. So I put my monitor up on a riser. So now the camera's looking down at me. So. Man, what are you seeing over here? Is it my mug? No. Did I move, not move that thing far? doesn't really matter <laughs> it really doesn't matter um yeah so I don't know how much longer this game is I'm assuming this is gonna be the last session this is honestly I guess we'll just see where I end up I kind of I don't know where when it last saved I kind of stopped it in a stupid place last time because I just wanted to go to sleep <laughs> but we'll see I have to fight a corrupted behemoth. I've fought a behemoth using ice. Ice is very useful against them. But I also don't have my weapons. And I also don't know how well ice is going to work against someone who's strong to, or weak to fire. Okay, good. my weapons gotta get out of the way that pillar's weak another hit and that pillar will come down oh maybe I'm not supposed to fight it Get me. I should try luring the behemoth into the pillars. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah. That did it. One more pillar and that platform will come down. And my weapon's with it. That's not how physics Getting works. Getting ready to charge. It's down. Every game has a you know you don't have your weapons anymore. Every single one, I swear. Hey! Guess who got her weapons back? Now you're just a big dumb target. Come and get it! This work. It does work. That canister on its own. Looks important. Those components on the sides of its head. They've got something to do with its lift attacks.
Maybe those carcasses have parts I can use. Freeze hamster on its hips. Cryo arrow should set it off. I'm fully aware that I'm probably going to have to fight something else after this. Ah! What the hell? What wizardry was that? Shadows, kill her! So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora Sacred Mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file. Well, privacy had. did. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? Helis recognized you back in the Sunring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. 
the man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupted to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Man, this dude does not Truth understand told, privacy. The underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy? It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun ring at high noon. Also, he... I wore out two striders getting She was in the sun I ring mean. when he destroyed it. Now be on your way. But... What? <laughs> I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora Sacred Land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Oh, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. There won't be. Yeah! All right, give me control. There we go. Nope, still don't have control. Just a weird, pointless mini cutscene there. Well, I can't be bothered to do that. I have to. It's one of those. I'm fine with it as long as I don't get attacked along the way. No, don't get off. Hup. Oh, I have skills. R3. Oh, okay. So it's just double the... Double the arrows, but double the power. Cat jam in the chat. Let me check if it was a timing thing. No. Oh, wait. Is it a location thing? Yes, it is. Oh, that makes sense. Good song, but I can't be bothered to run across the entire world. This 
So I'm gonna have to fight off the How bad guys. Yet live in the embrace? Oh, I'm just right here. Don't. Be needing a race under attack? How can this be happening? Man, they're all just standing there like, hey, isn't it wild that we're being hunted and killed? So that's why, uh, that's why he told me there's no turning back, is because uh, I wasn't able to, it, I, he knew it would lock me off, or the game was going to lock me off from uh, the embrace. Mothers, whatever. It was going to do a big world event. Gonna need this. Probably going into a combat zone. IMO. Trees on fire. The embrace. Watchtower's burning, but the sentinels had time to warn the tribe. Do what I have to.
RIP horse. The embrace. But the gates couldn't hold. This is Hades future. Metal and ash. I see, I'm supposed to hold that. Man, I was doing it wrong the whole time. Turns out stealth is an option. Looks like I'm clear. Definitely gonna have to fight something at Mother's Cradle. Stocking up. Another battle. Another defeat. The eclipse smashed through. Man, I thought you guys were supposed to be good at fighting.
still looking. Man, I'm not talking much. Sorry, I'm, I'm focusing. The more of these guys I get rid of, the easier those things will be to take on. See his head. Man, I never knew, never use enough of these. Let's get this over with.
all of them. Hell yeah. I think that was pretty good. There's more of them. I see it's up there. I'm not there yet. Thought I was closer than I was. Thunder jaw, all right. The survivors must be holed up in the mountain. If the tunnel collapses, they'll be buried. And I'll never reach the hatch. That's right! Bring down the mountain! Your own grave, Nora. You'll be 
buried in there. Now this machine rages! When their nest cracks open, we'll send in the demons to finish the job! need every last one of these. I just want to, I just want to see this eviscerate this guy. Watch, he's going to step right over it, right? Just shout, Aloy, why don't you? Man, not the fastest reload on this thing. I like how none of them have noticed this. I'm, I'm assuming it's not a timed thing, as in, like, they're not actually going to break the door down if I take too long. Easier we than expected. It. Aloy did it. We only help. I thought we would die. Oh yeah, look at all that good stuff.
Hello. I had little hope before I saw you, Seeker, but perhaps now we have a chance. Man, this entire civilization couldn't fend those guys off, but in, come me, in comes me. <laughs> One person. Civilization of warriors, I might say. Aloy, I might add. your deeds reenact the old stories. Another metal devil struck down upon the slopes. If you hadn't returned, the tribe would have been lost. You saved the tribe. Did what no brave or war chief could do. I'm glad to see you're all right, Varl. You are all right. Since the proving, so much death. Is the killing over? For now, but this was just one battle, Varl. There are more to come. I see. So long as we have you to fight with us, I suppose we'll make do. Tell me about the attack. What happened? They struck from the east. Our sentinels saw the killers coming. Said that beside them marched deathbringers and corruptors and other machines, driven mad. We took ground, met them with clouds of arrows. Some fell, but they kept coming. Finally, we withdrew to the gates of the embrace to make our stand. But they were too much for us. Those who survived fell back to the mountain. So the survivors took shelter in the mountain? By law, only matriarchs are allowed inside. It was Tirsa who broke the taboo, ordered the tribe into the mountain for safety. Lanzra, well, she didn't agree. But I don't think anyone heard her over all the screams and shouting. Tirsa's decision saved lives. Good for her. Common sense isn't always so common around here. How many survived the attack? Nearly all the matriarchs. And many families, God be praised. But braves, just a few. And most of them are wounded. Never before has an enemy stabbed the heart of our people like this. Even the Karja, in all their red raids, never broke through to the embrace. Well, this enemy may have broken through, but they never got back out. We made sure of that. Are your injuries serious? Bruises pale. Bones heal. Don't give me a hunting song, Varl. Are you okay? My body aches, but it's nothing that will keep me from fighting. Man, he immediately sounded way more sick once I asked that. I need to go <laughs> inside the mountain. And the matriarchs will be eager to see you. I'm sure, but I didn't come here for them. Then, what for? You will see. You will see. Hey, I know you. I met you. Man, it's COVID, don't they know? Coughing up a storm. Aloy! Oh, you've returned! Teb? Where is he? Oh, Mother, remember me well. I beg you. Aloy! You've come back! The seeker oh, here he has is. returned. Come. I knew you. Speak I'm to us. Glad to see you. Foolish woman. Your injuries. You welcome a curse. Injuries? Come, seeker, we have much Pleasure to discuss. Too. Her very presence here Nothing is a I couldn't sew back together with a needle and thread. Guess being a stitcher came in handy in combat after all, huh? <laughs> yes, I suppose it did. May my deeds live on in the goddess's memory. And they really are gods in human form. So they don't burn. You have finally returned. <sighs> she not only returned, but fought her way through many enemies to reach us. Outside, she brought low a corrupted Thunderjaw. She lifted the siege. How was this done? 
by the will of all mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Um... Yes, I guess you could say that. I think it'll work this time. Sisters, surely we cannot permit this. Because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. What if she has come to wake her father, the Metal Devil? She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. She is a curse made flesh. She will be the end. Excuse me. Aloy! Talk amongst yourselves. Hold for identity scan. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Correction. Alpha registry restored. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. I see you're inside. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? I never stopped. Ooh. Treats. So this is Eleuthia. This is where I was born. Where you were made. Another day has passed. You mean the lights got dim? I don't want to sleep, Mother! I know, but it is time to get some rest. No! I'm king today! What I say goes! I want to see the real sun! Not lights and pictures! You will, in time, children. In time! 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 Alright, I'm never having kids. Jeez. So these are artificial wombs. The mothers of a new generation hundreds of years ago. And me? So this was it? Where you were born. But, but why? These look like cribs. The cradles of a cradle facility. And those things, the, the multi-servitors, they took care of them. There was no one else. So 
someday. That's what you always say. We want it now. It's big down there. Now, Father. Children, that area is not yet available. Get him! Physical aggression detected. Physical aggression is not permitted. Except yours. Damn sentinels! Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer! Lena, you have suffered mild bruising. Go away! painted on. How long did they live here? Long enough. I have no choice but to release you. But why? There is no food here anymore. But there's food out there? We don't know for sure. Come on! Let's go! I don't know. Mother, can we come back? If we're cold? I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. You will have to support yourselves now. And take care of each other. What will happen to you? I will stay here. And sleep. And remember all of you. What will happen to us? You will be brave. And you will learn. Anything over here? There's something. Children. Let's run and jump and blow off steam. Leave us alone, Father. After what just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke community rules. Just let us talk, then. Go away. I'm sorry, children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person. You sound frustrated. Let's run and jump and go off steam. They were trapped here. Their whole lives. In plain view of luxurious space. What went wrong? Why couldn't they access the other areas? Unknown. But you won't have that problem. Looks like they didn't like this door very much. It wouldn't yes, open for them. Identity identity scan. Genetic of course they hate confirmed. it. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are cleared to proceed. Welcome to the Lyceum, a place of learning. So, what was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. But why not? Look. Welcome, students. Please pick up a focus device and place it on the side of your head, just behind your eye. I had to dredge the pits of the world looking for focuses to repair. And here sat a trove, enriching no one. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day, your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn, so much promise and possibility. Right. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Apollo offline. You were right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. I will. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day That's of the school. Same thing. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. 
Hello, offline. They're all gonna be the same thing, yeah? Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. I swear to God, if this says the same thing. Hello, child. Oh my God. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Oh, that's terrifying. Today is a big day. day Your first day of day. school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Hello, Miss 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 Please get a message with focus. That sounds important. Yes. I suspect we're about to learn a great deal. Identity scan malfunction. Present credentials. Elizabeth, this message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated, self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. What? Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so, before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Uh, does she mean the derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities. And over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it. That hold all of them. In place. It... They... Are escaping. But to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. What if... Oh! The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the Master Override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only 
only wish that I could hear your voice again. <sighs> Oof. So... You're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. We sort of already knew this, Halo. Born in destruction. And fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Let me guess, Gaia Prime is where I was trying to get into. No? Oh, I have to exit, okay. I get to scan my function rectified. The Luffy and I through one access unsafe. Interesting. Aloy, forgive. Forgive! The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. What did she say? That uh, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy? How? I, I don't know yet. Um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? It was her wish. What she made me for. Yes, I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy anointed, anointed of the Nora. All, All praise Aloy, Aloy anointed, anointed of the Nora. Up. All, All praise Aloy, Aloy anointed, anointed of the Nora. First you shun me, now this. I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders, whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here, everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight, and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way for Aloy! Way that she may forge the path for others to follow. And there's still more? Well, obviously there's still more, but there's still more free roam? <laughs> oh my god. So she's gonna wait for me in Meridian, but clearly...
That's not where the thing points. But they will not escape all mother's justice. Now can I fast travel? Yes, I can. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight the Thunderbird again, aren't I? <laughs> the way to the mountain will be hard. Ferocious machines prowl every yep. step of the climb. More corrupted. Not corrupted, but they will not tolerate humans. So what else is new? Yep, they all respond. I... <laughs> Why did it make me fight the Thunderbird the first time if I hadn't triggered the quest yet? That's the question. They come. Come on, man, you don't see me. I'm not here. Oh, sure, you're going to sit there. It's not that I can't take them, it's just that I don't want to. <laughs> I 
can get out of this. Thunderbird time. I probably should have gone to a uh, trader first. Bone. <laughs> that thought got dark. Where is it? I know more or less the right way to fight them. Honestly, the, uh, the ice strat's so OP. mountain. Mountain hall. Guy's sacrifice. <sighs> Did this. Cracked the inside of the mountain like it was an egg? Yes, yes. Quickly now. I've prepared the way ahead for you. So you've been in here before? To a point. You'll see. We know how to do this already. You made a climbing path for me, but left an army of machines for me to deal with? Since when were machines any obstacle for you? If you could fly, I wouldn't have bothered with a climbing path either. Down, don't look down. <sighs> Damn it. I like that. <laughs> she actually responded to me looking down. It's hilarious. Ah, okay. So that was their way of not letting me in, is just not put the ladder there. Goodbye, cruel, cruel world. This Hello, is exactly the kind world. of place I expected to find you in silence. Thank you. It's one of many workshops I've constructed over the years. For years, I tried to get through this hatch. I drilled, I burned, I blasted. 
But we both know that you won't have any trouble getting through. You make it sound like I should apologize. Not at all. It never occurred to me that the way through would not be with force, but with a key. A key in human form. The failure of imagination was mine, not yours. In her message, Gaia said we could restore her, but... After seeing the damage, how could that be? She said any effort to repair her must come after Hades is destroyed. I concur. Rebuilding the terraforming system now might allow Hades to use it as a weapon. Because of Gaia's sacrifice, it has been forced to search for means that are less... convenient. But... do you think it's even possible to restore Gaia? Well, you know what the cauldrons are capable of. How they fabricate any technology necessary to create a machine. And by the same principle, it should be possible to replicate every technology necessary to repair Gaia. But that would take years, and we're counting the time we have left by the hour. Looks like you've spent a lot of time here. Nineteen years ago, a great explosion destroyed this mountain. Gaia's death, your birth. The echo could be heard as far as the claim. Ash darkened the skies. How they fretted in Meridian as they tried to read this omen. The crater burned for weeks, but when it cooled, I was the first to behold what lay within. Over time, the machines closed ranks to protect it. Useful. Soon, no one dared to come here. Except me. I thought you might actually be here this time. Actually, here. Why? My presence is unnecessary. You don't need my help to pass through this door. You were the one born to do this, not me. It's time for me to head in. Yes. When you find the Master Override, you will gain the power to defeat Hades. Everything depends on you. Thanks. Oh, you're still there. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Mind your footing. That's my way across. I just know this is gonna shift. Oh. Man, it's like, uh... It's, uh, held like this for 19 years, right? Well... D don't answer. It's like, um... What's the game? <sighs> Uncharted. say that. That means it's not. You really need to get some gloves, girl. Be a solid investment.
board. I just woke up. It's... I see the numbers, but can't make up the time. I was dreaming of... Uh, I was giving a lecture in Q Hall. Maybe it was something more... shamanistic. I, I don't know. An audience of shadowy faces under a blank, open sky. I told them the world ended with a bang. A plague of robots. But the last humans. We went out, not with a whimper, but a whisper. You know, in caves, ending like we started, huddled around a flickering glow. The heads of state, the Fortune Fives, the leaders, and lottery winners, and life cults, all of them buried in their little shelters. Some believing they'll live it out some way, somehow, or Elysium, or us here at Gaia Prime, no different. A multitude of tiny societies taking hold, flaring, dying. Some will be beautiful, some horrific, and none of them matter. Short-term civilizations. One last gasp, one last gasp before the long-held breath. Before I wake up, I know the audience is gone. I'm talking to myself, to a quiet planet, a barren sphere. Just Gaia and her long, long dreaming. I hope she won't be lonely. Food. Evacuation happens so fast. No time to think things through. No time for goodbyes. There were lines in the medical ward. I told Tom Paik I'd be with him when he went under. But there was one last shipment of Paradiseidae zygotes I could get processed if I rushed. I'm still angry at him for forcing me to choose. Angry at myself for... Well, he died alone. And I didn't get the bloody birds of paradise saved either. All the time left in the world now to think. Gaia Prime's locks are sealed. Elysium, sealed up, safe and sound. A distance of miles, but it might as well be on the other side of the galaxy. All the Betas and Gammas and support staff living their lives. If I hadn't been an Alpha, if things had gone differently, I could have been there. Instead, I'm spending the rest of my unnatural life in here with people I don't even like. And without the one, I would have gladly spent my life with, given a chance. Two hours since I signed off on the final executables and I'm already a bitter old man bitching to his focus. There's a thought for future generations. And if I were in apoc an apocalypse like that, I, I don't know if I'd document it, you know? Like, who leaves audio logs? Like, do people actually do that? Elizabeth's room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The Focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them.
Ugh, I need to go to the bathroom. I'll be back in a second. Man, my computer is a space heater. To open a window. <laughs> Elizabeth. What is this? six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Now who would I signed up for? Either we send someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh, no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen, the swarm's too close. Really, it's all right. Guy's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out, that's what she does. Not like this, there's so much we- Guys, you know me, I'm... I'm no good endings at letting things end, so, um... Let's not. So... Happy trails, Liz. And uh, see you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, all right? Liz. I'm okay with this. I want to go home. transmission of Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. Oh boy. Aloy? She's gone. 
really gone? Well, it has been thousands you of years. You knew she couldn't have survived, Eloy. And her achievements were... beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. Can't you just for one moment stop calculating and let yourself feel? She sacrificed herself for her friends, for the future, for life on Earth. Doesn't that stir anything in you? The generosity of it. You're trying to invest her decision with something magical. It was a rational choice, not based on sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel, to care, to sacrifice, to believe in life, enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. I guess these are all voiced, right? Yep. <laughs> You'd hate it, Liz, but I wrote you a eulogy. I had to try to express all your children. After all Apollo has taught them, they'll think they know everything, but they have to understand what you did for them. How you loved the whole world so much, with an intensity that was dazzling, bruising, and in the end, it killed you, or you died for it. Different perspectives. No one could keep up with you, live up to you. I, I don't know, maybe if, if, I, if I hadn't taken that postdoc in Joburg. <sighs> I'm glad you shot down the Lightkeeper protocol in the end. I don't think I could have taken seeing another one of you. I mean, Rip. Elizabeth Sobek, there's only one. I miss you. Big rip. Now there's two. Look, Liz, you were a pretty stand-up gal. I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kinda creepy if you ask me. Rest in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. Hell, Liz. I know. I know you're never gonna hear this. That's not the point. You, uh... <laughs> you got to play the savior in the motor all at once this time. Great work. That's it. Fucking Ted. It's all of them? Yes. Nope. <laughs> Margo, how are you holding up? Uh, Dr. Ronson, I've been getting a lot of messages, unsolicited messages from Ted. Margo, I'm sorry. With Liz gone, we've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates, constant updates, hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. Liz used to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. I was kind of by design. But he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. Liz always said, keep him happy. Are you kidding? You ever hear how she talked to him? <laughs> she was managing him, Margot. I mean... 
Maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in this pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Antimon Cuckoos. What can he do? What does any of that mean? It's gonna turn out Ted did all this. He was the one that sent the signal. No, I don't know. <laughs> sunlight coming from. Up, I guess. But I don't see an entrance. It's weird. <laughs> There's another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. Oh, jeez. Oh, Did not see that. Where am I going up here? Whew. This is going. Continue. Deadman. It's many Deadmans. What? When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the Alphas were in there. What did Ted do? I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, um, uh, please, stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. And what, what I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents, those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're gonna give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. 
did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. A millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Planting atmosphere. The fuck? He... He killed them all. So this is why. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. <sighs> he never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void, like the alphas themselves. No, not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made. The world we're living in. It's... it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. Master Override. It's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. That's easy. Man, I'm still not done. Okay, I guess I was wrong about being close to the end. Keep holding. The amount of times they've mentioned it, I know it's not going to. Oh. Is at what point are they going to yeet me? Uh, you're here. For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge. You have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse. Helped it build a cult. An army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? 
Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire. Not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse, everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus. Recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan buried in the jungles of the jewel. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it, until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location. The surrounding geography. Who controlled the land? Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few more? Besides, I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. <laughs> a thrilling technical challenge, especially with the alterations I included of my own design. The ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades. But I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. 
What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot. With my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late? Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. The things you've done in the pursuit of knowledge, Silence, Pure recklessness. Aloy, this wasn't a confession to elicit your judgment. <sighs> Unbelievable. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the master override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely... trespassing.
I thought for sure I'd be able to modify this thing. Oh, boy. They're coming. Preparations are complete. Ah, Lucent Bahamas. Behold, as I promised you. What? Manner of great machine is this? I've never seen such a thing. Stay! Stay your ground, Karja in shadow! Incorrect. Bow before the buried shadow. The buried shadow? I... I don't understand. Did Araman understand the Glint Hawk that perched upon the alight? It speaks scripture. Araman followed the shadow cast from the spire. To the Mesa, where Holy Meridian was founded. You will follow the shadow once more. I am a righteous man, chosen of the sun. But in times of need, the powers of shadow can accomplish what the sun alone cannot. Will... Will you return to us what is ours, O oh, shadow of prophecy? An army is required. Obey, and Meridian is yours. Of our obedience, you can be certain. Jeez. Task is complete. Yes. The focus network is active, built to your specifications. Check it yourself if you must. I'll wait. But I remind you of the reward you've been withholding. Quantum processing? Data has been compiled. Volume too great for transfer. How? Inconvenient for me. Come before me. You shall receive your reward. Very well. Helis. Threat detected inside Eclipse. Speak its name, O Shadow, and it will die. You will eliminate this one. Silence. Silence. Yes. A truth whispered at night is seen in the day. He was never one of us. It will be done. Man, who needs who needs a. Uh... I have to tell Vlad that the Eclipse are ready to strike. I already knew all that was going to happen. After what happened with Durval, I know he'll defend the city. But the Spire... Durval. He tried to kill the Sun King. Unbelievable. Uh, Alright. So clearly this is going to be longer than I thought. So I'm going to say one more session. Next Tuesday we'll finish the game. I thought this would be it. But uh, yeah. That's it from me. Thanks for watching. See you guys Tuesday. I will raid someone if someone's available. Bye.